Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, wow, I don't know what to say about Doctor Who. Apparently, Russell T. Davies, uh, the once and current showrunner of Doctor Who, is giddy with delight that the new episodes of Doctor Who are going to upset the diehard fans. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that always works out well. That always works out so well. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. We're going to talk about this. Uh, I, yeah, this is it, guys. I don't think they care. I mean, people are like, oh, my God, how could you do this? How could you change Doctor Who? They don't care. In fact, they get off on you being angry. I mean, this is the truth. And and the thing with Doctor Who is, you know, it's, it's bankrolled in part by the BBC, and uh, they're just, you know, taking your money. They don't have to appease advertisers. You know, you got to pay them. So... They can do whatever the hell they want. Even mm -hmm. if you don't watch it, it doesn't matter. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Mm -hmm. uh, not a lot of woohoos in the Doctor Who fandom now. I think um, a lot of people are very upset with the treatment of David Tennant's Doctor returning just to get berated. And uh, now it looks like there's going to be apparently... Uh, a whole new mythology coming. Yeah, they said they're going fantasy instead of science fiction. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, he's apparently very happy about uh, the direction of the show. So. This makes is one fan. Yeah, it makes one, one person happy. I, I cannot wait to see what the ratings are going to be because we're already dipping back down into Jodie Whittaker numbers. This comes from the Radio Times, which usually kisses the BBC's butt. Uh, Doctor Who showrunner promises a whole new mythology, a whole new mythology in the giggle, the, which is. Sorry, we just call it the episode of the giggle anyway. It's just like okay. Giggle. So is the doctor is the doctor uh, gonna gonna uh, step inside the giggle box? Is he gonna? I don't think the fans are giggling. Uh, here's no. what here's what Davy said in Doctor Who magazine. There will be some controversial events in this episode. If you listen and watch the InVision commentary on the iPlayer, I am roll a whole new Doctor Who mythology for you based around the events taking place. And I'm explaining this to David Tennant and his mind is exploding. Doesn't sound like it takes much. <laughs> I think his mind did explode. Like, dude, why would you go back just to have your doctor dragged? I don't know. Same reason the Iger went back. Uh... <laughs> That commentary will have absolutely exclusive information that will rock the world. So basically, watch it in the iPlayer so we can get our numbers up. You know, mm -hmm. I hope you all find it fascinating. It's a whole new way of looking at the history of Doctor Who, and I can't wait to see the reaction. Oh, God. I can't wait, guys. Why? Why, why are you doing this, Russell? Why are you doing this? Because I thought they brought you back to try to salvage the show, and they're just like tripling down on stupidity, stupidity, angry. Like it's never like I don't think you got the memo. This isn't 2017 anymore. When you loudly proclaim that you're going to go out and deliberately anger the fans and retcon a show and change it up, and oh my god, guys, it's going to be so different. And those those uh, chuds, those basement dwelling neck beard alt right bigots, they're going to hate it so much. I can't wait to make them angry. You've basically told a good portion of your audience to not tune in. Basically. You know? Um, so, yeah, he said the show is taking... There's what you said. The show is taking a step toward fantasy, which will annoy people to whom it's hard science fiction. What's that even mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Okay, episode two next year is wildly fantasy. Completely making up scenarios on screen that we've never been able to show before. What? Okay, so okay, so you're admitting this this whole this new version of Doctor Who, this whole season, this whole series is fantasy. It's just a fever dream. <laughs> the enemy dream. is goblins. Wait, what? They said they said that this a bit. I was a bit jealous of all these other shows where getting bigger taste of the pie. So this Christmas, the enemy is goblins. Goblins. But they're always here's the thing about Doctor Who. Like they always introduce these like really fantastic enemies or whatever, and you're like, oh, it's supernatural. It's like, nah, it's just an alien. It's a minotaur. Nah, it's an alien that looks like a minotaur. Oh, it's a ghost. Nah, it's just an alien that looks like a ghost. You know, maybe they're actual goblins. I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Russell, Russell. J.K. Rowling got in trouble for using goblins. Are you sure you want to go there? So they're talking about, shoot, I think it's Shooty Gatwa being the new doctor. And uh, the audition, the audition was fantastic. He had, he had women and non-binary people auditioning too. 
But uh, every new doctor should have a chance for brand new viewers to step on board. And I think Shooty is going to bring in a whole new audience. Well, you're yeah, we know what audience they're looking for. You're, you're going to have to replace the audience that leaves. And look, a, a lot of these showrunners, a lot of these studios, they're totally happy. That's what they want. But the thing is, is, I don't think they realize there aren't as many people that, you know, are on board with the changes to these shows as, as they think there are just because social media tells you, or just because your circles that you hang around in are telling you, you need to do this, that, and the other thing doesn't mean the general public is on board. Uh, according to deadline, Dr. Who gets more than 100 complaints over inappropriate transgender characters. I don't think that's that many complaints, honestly. That's not. I that's mean, why I think but the But then again, anybody watch the episode, so, you know. The BBC said they had 144 messages from disgruntled viewers in its fortnightly report on audience complaints um, for the uh, the trans rose. Uh, the Star Beast special was watched by more than 7.6 million people, meaning that complainants make up a tiny proportion of the audience. What they're yes. not saying, what they're not telling you is the following week, the viewership dropped off. A lot of times the people that are fed up aren't even going to waste their breath, time, energy on writing you a complaint. They're just not going to watch anymore. You know, Disney thought Star Wars was fine. Paramount thought Star Trek was fine. And uh, apparently the BBC thinks Doctor Who's just fine because everybody's going to tune in. They're going to watch David Tennant, right? And then they're going to watch you drag him and uh, correct him on pronoun usage. You know, it's like, come on. Let's see what the comments are like here. Yeah, this one here. Doctor Who was written to be the most powerful entity in the universe. The Doctor saved countless plants against the insanely complex evil creatures. In a matter of minutes, the Doctor was retconned as a questionable uh, by virtue of being a male. Mm-hmm. You know? But the one above, it's like, it's always been progressive. Yeah, no one ever said it wasn't. Nobody said it no wasn't. No one said it wasn't always progressive. There was a difference, though, because in the old days, progressive, you know, was nuanced and clever, and now it's just like, oh, you know, agenda slap, agenda slap. Like, there's no, you know, there's no... Like, you, there's no, like, you know, a way of doing it in a, in a way that's, that makes people think and that you, you have to make your own mind up. No, no, you have to agree or you're a terrible person. Well, see, this is this is what gets me too, though. We have this this Gwenna here. Uh, people are so whiny. Can't you just watch the show and enjoy no. it? You're not allowed to not watch the show. Did, did, haven't you gotten the memo? Like, you're not allowed to, or if you watch the show and you didn't enjoy it, you're not allowed to say anything. Because if you do say anything about it, you're a bigot. You're a well, right above you're it. misogynist. Um, if you're a sci-fi fan, you, you'd know it's been social issues since it first defined. Go back to your illiterate bigot hole. Go back to your bigot hole. Um, Put that in your bigot hole. And then there's like, well, the next person, 5 million watched and 100 complained that isn't a story. I agree. There's like, I don't think, I don't know why this is even a story. Uh, because they just, I think the point that they're trying to make is not a lot of people complain, but you're talking about people that are going to actually write in and look. Most people complain. They just didn't write letters to them about it. People don't. Yeah. People just stop watching. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll see where it goes. I mean, I personally think that um, loudly proclaiming that you're going to take the show in a different direction. And after, it's going to make people mad. And it's going to make people mad. And you seem to be delighted that you're going to uh, upset the diehard fans. Um, that is not good. That's that's anti-marketing. Mm -hmm. you're, you're telling people preemptively not to watch your show. So good luck with that. We'll, we'll keep tabs on the, the, the viewership numbers. I have a strong suspicion they're going to drop off a cliff once David Tennant leaves. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they are. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.